Hi you guys, Matt here. Um, I want to go ahead and do a quick video on how to set up system restore in Windows 10 and how to create a snapshot and how to restore a snapshot. So let's go ahead and get started. We're just booted right into Windows 10 right now. Um, first thing you want to do just to follow me is you want to right click your desktop, uh, hit personalize and then go to themes. Uh, click desktop icons and I usually have these set all the time. I check all these So I have my uh, this PC icon right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and right-click it hit properties And when I do that there is an option that brings up uh, system protection Or just a little text over here to the left and right now for some reason my system restore my protection settings are off so I'm going to go ahead and hit configure and turn on system production. All right, that's all we have to do right there. And we're going to go ahead and create a restore point or a snapshot. Um, so if I do something wrong, I, I delete some settings, I change some settings, uh, maybe delete some files like uh, oh, files like in my, my documents or something like that. Um, or if I install an application or uninstall an application, I should be able to go back to this restore point before I kind of messed up everything. So I'll say, uh, we'll, we'll just call this clean or you could call it like, you know, everything. Hello. I can't type around this microphone is good great so it's creating my uh, restore point okay and let's let's say someone came along to my computer and they turned off all my desktop icons and I just couldn't remember how to turn them back on so we'll say all these are off I'm just making a change you know, somebody came up and did that. Somebody in the family. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and just uh, delete this stuff to see if any of this stuff comes back. So I want to go ahead and restore my uh, snapshot, my restore point. I want to go back to where it was. So down here, you can click search the web in Windows. We'll type in system restore. Please come up. Yeah. So we'll go to recovery. I think that's it. Uh, yep, that's it. So we go to recovery and then open system restore. Okay, restore system files and settings. Yeah, system restore will back up the registry and critical system files. I, I forgot to mention that. Uh, so everything is good. Remember that snapshot, that, that restore point we created there? Uh, we'll go ahead and go back to that. It's got the date, the time, the description. We'll click next. It's only going to affect the C drive. Uh, system restore cannot be undone until after it is completed. So click yes. Preparing to restore my system or your system. All right. And while that's going, uh, go ahead and pause this. And this is what it looks like kind of um, while it's being restored. It says, please wait. Your Windows files and settings are being restored. System restore is initializing. And yeah, this whole process can take a while. It's been a few minutes here. Um, this virtual machine, this computer is running off a uh, solid state hard drive too as well. So it can take a while. So don't freak out and think it's hung or something like that. All right, it's restarting now. Let's see what we got. Hopefully I don't make an idiot out of myself and everything's messed up still. No, good. As you can see, your system restore completed successfully. Um, the system was restored to this time. Uh, your documents have not been affected. So I've got all my icons back. I've got these things I deleted right here. Uh, okay. Go ahead and hit close. So now from time to time, 
if we go back into system restore, this will automatically create restore points, um, especially during things like software installs or uh, Windows updates, things like that. So system protection is on. We can go ahead and configure. Uh, it's on right there. You can say, okay, I want a lot of system protection. I want to go back a lot by raising this max usage, or maybe you just want a few. So I'll say 15% of my hard drive is going to be used for system restore purposes. You know, maybe I'm installing a lot of software, or removing stuff, changing settings. I want to be able to go back as far as I want to be able to go to. So anyway, that is a system restore. Remember to do it anytime you, uh, before you install a program or make changes, it's always handy just to create those restore points. So talk to you guys later.